Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. As you can see, it's finally here, my fridge organization video. Let's get started. <laughs> All right, so here is the fridge at the moment. There's not much in it, so we need to go shopping, but that's okay. In this, I'm going to share my favorite five top tips on how I organize my fridge. Before I get stuck into this video, I will just mention that our fridge is an LG four door. We got it from the good guys, I think, I'll leave the links of every tub, product, everything that I use within the fridge in the description below. I'll try my best to get them all down there for you. Tip number one, remove all unwanted items and create a list of categories with the items that you usually have in the fridge. So it could be spreads, condiments, meats, cheese, etc. This is just to work out what sections and categories I guess you're going to have in your fridge. So we went shopping this morning so this is all sorted. I'll just take these out of the cart and everything else is pretty good. All washed and ready to go in. Tip number two. Create a system that works for you and trial it for a week or two. This is so important because you don't want to go in early and put labels, containers, everything, and then it just turn into a shit show because it's not working for you. Something that works for someone else may not work for you. So we have trialed a system that we know now works for us. Obviously for the purpose of this video, I've kind of made it a little bit of a mess, but we know that we originally thought we we're gonna have cheese in these sections, but now we know that our favorite cheese doesn't actually fit in there. So we're not going to be doing that anymore. We know that we want to have spreads on the door and even consider little things like eggs should be placed in the middle of your fridge just because it needs consistent temperature or, you know, things like where do you want to put your condiments? Do you want to have a section that is food that you need to eat first? Things like that. Tip number three. So once you've tried the system, if it works, if it doesn't, that's fine. Just do it again and do this until you find a system that works. Once you've created the system that works a treat, then you can measure the fridge, the shelves included, and then you can start to purchase either storage tubs, Lazy Susans, all of those kinds of things. I'll leave what I'm using down below. This is really, really important and you don't want to miss this step because you're going to end up with tubs that don't fit or you know you've got a tub that you think fits but you can't get your hand in there things like that you can also create a small picture of your fridge if you like or an easier way to do it is you can actually take a photo of your fridge and then put little captions in where you think you might keep things so i did that on my phone even to purchase labels it was just an easy way to show where i've envisioned things to be. So once you've got all your tubs, now's the time to buy labels. Everybody loves labels. It's such a vibe at the moment and I get mine from Shop Labeled. I'll leave a discount code down below. Courtney is amazing so I do recommend her and her labels are gorgeous. You'll see them in this video soon. So now for the containers that I purchased. I found this turntable on Catch the Day and then I got a range of Kmart tubs. I got this long skinny one. This wider one, small one, and I also found these at Big W with a handle, so they're really good for your top shelves if you do want to pull them out. And second, I got some labels, here's just a handful of them, like I said I got them from Shop Labeled, I'll just show you on theirs. I've got a discount code below, so check that out. I used font 21 for these ones. Tip number four, give the fridge a clean and empty the fridge now. Also, I do recommend just keeping a little tray filled with bicarb in your fridge. Just put it at the back of the fridge and you can change it every now and then. This just helps absorb all the odors in your fridge.
starting to organize my fridge, I realized how much plastic we're using in the fridge. So I'm really trying to eliminate that. And by doing so, I've purchased some stasher bags. I really recommend these. I've used a few. I've left these in the packet just to show you. But so far, I'm really loving these. They keep everything really airtight, which is great. So recommend stasher bags. To clean the fridge, I'm just going to use Ayers & Co. I know it's safe, so I'm going to use that. I've got a discount code for that below as well. And just a damp cloth. The fridge is fairly new, so it's not that dirty. Usually I would take these out and give them a soak in the sink, but I really don't think it's necessary. But if you need to do that, I recommend it. to restocking the fridge which is the most exciting part because you get to see everything come together when doing this just be careful to leave room for movement you don't want to go in and label everything put all the containers in because you have a party one day and you don't have a spot for all the party food and everybody loves party food I'm just going to start adding some of the containers into where I've kind of planned for them also, I've got this $3 case file from Kmart. I'm just going to place it in there so I can do my stasher bags inside there with meats, I think. On. I'm just going to make sure the surface is clean and then with these they're super easy all you do is peel it back you can use a credit card or something to just press it down and once you press it down you think you've done it enough, you just peel it back. Voila! So, there's two ways of spelling yoga I've just discovered. strawberries and things like that in stasher bags so to keep them nice and neat I will put them in the case file So 
if you've been following along, your fridge may look a little something like this. Now I'm going to show you in depth kind of what I created. Alright, so I'll start with the door. I didn't put a label in here just because I don't want to label absolutely everything. You want to leave space for movement, like I said. So I've just got a couple of beverages there. And then we always have beer, so I've got a section for that. And then herbs. And then coming into here, I've tried to leave the top fridge, the top fridge, the top shelf pretty plain. So I've got the drinks. And then this container with the handle, which is just eat first, as you can see. So in here, I'll just put things that we need to use up first, obviously. And then down below, I've got a couple of fruits cut up into whatever these are. But I got these containers from Seed and Sprout. Um, yeah, I don't really recommend them, but they look really pretty. I got sucked into how they look. Anyway. And then here I just have these Kmart ones which are labelled eggs, cheese and yoghurt. Pretty self-explanatory. And then I've got the condiments on here. Which is just an easy way to store a bunch of things and not lose anything in the back of your fridge. And I've just got some raspberries in here. This is just I'm using these things tomorrow. The fridge is really decked out with a lot of platter food so I would, wouldn't usually have all this stuff but... Anyway, and then here's meats, so Andy's got his meal for tomorrow or tonight, and then any other meats will go in here. This is just the $3 case file from Kmart, just keeps them all standing up straight, which I like, but also leaves a bit of room for throwing stuff in. And then we've got vegetables and fruit. I showed you the case file again with some stash bags, nice and simple, and then in here I did add... A small Kmart tray I'm just gonna keep the veggies that are kind of already oh my gosh this fridge already started so it's kind of like another eat first section but yeah it's just so that we know and then a few bits and pieces in there then we've got deli meats here which obviously there's deli meats in there this is no not labeled but obviously for now there's deli meats in there it doesn't really matter what goes in there? I just needed some areas that didn't have labels because, you know, things happen, things change. So that's a free space. And then on this side of the door, this side again hasn't been labeled. I'm going to use it for supplements. There's a bunch of extra platter things in there. And then obviously juices. This is spreads with dips behind. So if we don't have dips, I can just lift this up and the spread section will become bigger. But we don't really have many spreads that actually live in the fridge. So that's good. And then here we've got water. Sorry about the fridge beeping. It's really annoying. It's been driving me mental whilst filming this. We've got milk, water, and then obviously room just for like juices or soft drinks or whatever we might get. And then behind there is a spot for dressings. We don't usually have them all the time, but it's just a good space for them to fit in. So that's that. It's not labelled. But anyway, now I'm going to show you my freezer. Here's, here's the fridge, though. <laughs> Turned out really good. Love it. All right, I'll show you the freezer. The freezer is not as crazy because we barely have anything in it. I will shut the fridge so that that shuts up. All right, so in the freezer, I've got vego meats, which is just like substitute meats that I eat. And then Andy's got his section for his meats. I'll keep the meats in stasher bags. This doesn't have a label because I want to leave, again, space for movement, space for things that we don't always have. Down the bottom, too, we've got prepped meals. Andy gets my muscle chef, but we'll also be freezing meals and prepping bulk like bolognese sauce etc and then i've got frozen veggies this is treats here so i'll get some icy poles and stuff in there and then ice blocks obviously bread up the top this is just not labeled so again room for you know if we have parties or whatever else you need extra space 
And then on this side, we have ice packs, frozen fruit, and then this will probably just become frozen fruit as well. That's, again, more frozen bananas. So, yeah, I need a few more stasher bags in here. I've left containers to a minimum in the freezer just because we don't really have much in there, so I didn't really get a chance to check if the system worked as such. Like, obviously, what I've labelled works and is right for us, but in terms of containers and stuff, I'm not really sure how I'm going to do it in here just yet, but yeah, we don't really need much going on in the freezer, so that's it. Thanks so much for waiting so patiently for this video and thanks so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Have a good day. Bye.